I recently got a few messages in my inbox about the heat map component in the React Native Maps library. And I wanted to actually show you how to implement this really easily in your app. So there's a few different errors that you might get. And I'm going to show you how to overcome those errors and use heat maps in your iOS and Android app. I'm using the same code base that I used from part one and part two. The difference is I created two different components, one for the carousel map that I created in part two. So we can go here and you can see the carousel map. It's all the same code here from before. And if we go back here, I also created a heat map component, which right now, all it does is show a map of New York, lower Manhattan. So the carousel map is the same code from part two. So the heat map has an initial position state here. It also has a few different points for New York. The weight flag here is to show you how much of a weight each point will take up on the screen. So the higher the weight, the bigger the heat map point will be on the map. And you can go down here and you can see that we have our map view with our ref and styles and initial position. Okay, and we have a few different styles here for the container and map. So let's go to the docs and you can see, I've already talked about these seven components here from part one and part two. Now we're going to focus on the heat map component. So you can go here in the docs and you can see that the heat map component takes in a group of points, which is our point array here and a radius, an opacity, and a gradient, okay? So let's go to the code. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the heat map component. So the heat map has to go inside of the brackets here. So you heat map, okay? And one of the things that people try to do first is they try to use only the heat map here. They try to replace the map view with the heat map. That will give you an error. So the heat map has to go inside of the map view component. So you do heat map. And then we want to set the initial region. So we can copy and paste this part actually. So this will be the same. So initial region. And now I want to put our points into here. So you say points equals this dot points. And then I want to set a radius. So I'm going to set the radius to something a bit high, maybe 40. So if you look in the docs again, you can see the radius goes from 10 to 50 and the default is 20. Okay. And now for the gradius, this part can be a little bit tricky. If you're using heat map for the first time, what you want to do is you want to set the colors of your gradients. So the colors can be anywhere from two to any number of colors that you want to put here. I'm not sure if the max is five, but I like to put it around five in my gradient colors. So you could say colors, and then I want to say black, purple, and I'm actually using a gradient heat map list from here. This is a good site to look at if you're not sure what colors to use for your gradients. You can come here and they give you a few different heat map color schemes that you might like. I like, which one did I use? I use uh, this one here. So black, purple, red, yellow, white, black, purple, Let's keep it with double quotes, black, purple, red, yellow, white. Okay. So color map size, I'm going to set it to something like 20 or not 20, but maybe like 200. So if you go back to the docs again, color map size, the default is 256. You can set it to whatever you want to. Maybe I'll set it to keep it as the default here. Okay. And now I want to put some start points in here. So start points represents the uh, the points where the color starts. And you can play around with this a lot. You might have to set different colors for Android and iOS, depending on how it looks on your phone. So let's go back here. And for start points, I want to set 0 0.01, 0 0.4. And these have to be in ascending order. If these are not in ascending order, then you'll get an error on your screen. Okay, and then let's do 0 0.1 and 0 0.45, and then let's do something like 0 0.5. Oh, okay. And let's save and see how this looks. And you can see here we got the error that we expected because these are not in ascending order. So I want to make this one 0 0.04. 
Okay, and for this area here, you might get this when you first use heat map. I got this a few times, but that's because I actually do want to put in the color map size. For Android, you don't really need it, but apparently for iOS, you need to have this color map size in here. So color map size, and let's set it to 200. And let's save. And now you can see we have our color map scheme here with our colors. Zoom in on the simulator like this. You can see now we have small dots here. If you zoom out, it looks more like a heat map, like so. And on iOS, the opacity always looks pretty low by default. So I want to change the opacity to one. I'm going to put opacity equals one. And you can see it looks a lot better now. The colors are a lot more deep. And you could play around with the points if you want to. You can uh, use slightly bigger points. You can use different weights. So let's do different weights here. Let's do 10 up to 100. Let's do 45, 84, 45. Let's do 23. And now if we save, you can see some points are very weighted and some are not very weighted. So it really depends on what you want for your heat map. I personally like to keep all the weights the same because it makes it look more like an actual heat map, but that really depends on what your requirements are for your app. Okay, for Android, this won't look as good as it does right now. For Android, I had to put different start points in here. I had to put 0.1 up to one, and then maybe like, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, and 0 0.75. And if you save this, it doesn't look as good on iOS. Let's uh, change the weights back here. And you can see on iOS, these start points don't look very good at all. <laughs> if we go back to how it was before, let's change our weights back to So if we change the start points back to what they were before and press save, you can see that there's a big difference. So the start points are very important to make your heat map look like an actual heat map. So if you wanna use different start points on Android and iOS, you can go up here and import your platform. And then you can go down here to start points and you can say platform.os equals 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 iOS question mark, then you can use these heat points or these start points. And if not, you can use uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and one. And you can save. And, and save. And now our start points is how we want it to be on iOS. And if you wanna see how it looks on Android, the beginning demo that you see in this video is the same code running on the Android phone with these points here. This is showing a very specific area. You could put a lot more points in here if you want to and show a much bigger heat map. So yeah, I hope this video helps you get started with heat maps and hopefully you won't be stuck with the same errors that I got when I first started out with this package. Stay tuned for the next video and happy coding. Bye.